Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm sitting here in front of the Synthstrom Deluge, a, uh, a constant presence on this channel, and I would say my favorite piece of music creation equipment. If, God forbid, my studio were to burn down, this would be the first thing I would replace. The Deluge is a feature-packed groove box, full-on arranger, sampling, synthesis. It uh, really is like a great platform for creating a fully developed track, and I figured in this video we would make a song with it. Um, you might notice this screen up here. So when I originally got the Deluge, at the time that I got it, it shipped standard with a seven segment display like you would see in an old um, alarm clock. But now they're selling it with an OLED screen and if you have a seven segment display model, you can send it in to get it uh, retrofitted with the OLED screen, which is what I did. It doesn't change the device's functionality, but I got this done late last year, uh, last year being 2023. And so I thought it would just be fun in light of it being refreshed to make something with it. Now, when I do these music making videos, I go into it with as little plan as possible. I might have a very vague idea of what I want to do. In this case, I know I want to use samples from the Amiga sample library, uh, which I learned about because fellow content creator and a much larger and a frankly more skilled content creator, Red Means Recording, had a video on it. But um, for other aspects of it, I thought it'd be fun to leave it up to chance. So I've got a, uh, I've got a little bag here to reduce sound because I've got these these metal dice that I thought we could roll to decide uh, first what key we'll be in. So this is a 12-sided die. We'll say that one will be C and we'll just go up in scale tones from there. That's six. So for reference, keyboard, we'll start at C and go here's one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll be on F. And then to decide if it'll be minor or major, we'll roll this. Uh, let's say odds will be major, evens will be minor. And that was a five. So that will be a song in F major. Scale, F, now we're in F major. Excellent. So I'm gonna hit Shift and Synth to make a new synth patch. Shift and Browse. This tells it that I want this to be a sample uh, synth patch, like sample played back chromatically. And I'm gonna go to Amiga ST and I don't know if it's obvious on camera, but I make selections by clicking this encoder in. And I'm gonna go, we'll look in just the first of these gazillion mm. files. Woo. And I like breath. I'm gonna grab breath. And we're gonna start by just giving this a lot of reverb and some delay. Too much delay. And we'll do just a simple pattern. Now we need to find something with bass potential. So we'll go back in. I'm gonna go up a layer. I feel like uh, folder nine. I bet we'll find, hey, a bass. We're gonna drop that down. <laughs> Maybe something goofy like that. Let's see. And maybe uh, that could repeat twice and then we could have it drop down to a D minor and then B flat major. I know that's not uh, anything groundbreaking, uh, but hey, let's do it. Let's see how it sounds. And um, if I hit this cross screen button, now I do this and it's copied across each screen. I'm gonna turn that off for a moment. So if I play, you could see that it um, that it's playing the same thing on each screen and I'm gonna go down. And maybe we'll 
filter that a little bit. And add some release. And I think maybe we'll also set this so that um, the bass is monophonic. Nice. Uh, why don't we do another synth? This time we'll add a pad. I know we're going um, <laughs> maybe a little bit by the book. What is that? I haven't found a good uh, pad sound yet, but I have found that it sounds really silly if you just go through this folder really quickly. <laughs> so I hopped into another folder and I found this. And I like that. Let's see how it sounds if we loop it. Perfect. And we'll add some release. And reverb. And I think what might be fun actually is we add the same sample in, but we also pitch it down. So this is um, the second oscillator. We pitch it down. Wrong direction. To get a little more space, we'll give it some attack. A little more. Nice. I'm actually, I know it's not like the cleanest sound already, but I'm going to add a little more noise. And bring the filter down a bit. And then we'll have an LFO. We'll use LFO1. And we'll send the um, filter resonance to LFO1. So let's see. Resonance, LFO1. There we go. And now it's a simple matter of adding in some chords. And now D minor. And then B flat major. So far, we've got something that sounds, I think, very fun and goofy. Uh, let's do something a little different. Instead of a new synth, I'm going to hit Shift Kit. And this is now going to ask me to find a file that I want to use as the first sound in this kit. I like having the sound down here be a kick drum. And I know there were some in this first. We'll use that one. And I'll hold this and load. And we just have to find, there's a closed hi-hat. Load, let's see if there's an open hi-hat in here. No, but there's another hi-hat. We'll just add this other hi-hat and now a snare. I wonder if there's a snare in here. One last thing, I saw a clap in that folder. I'm getting a clap. I deserve this. Yes. Sweet. All right. Now, 
one last thing, one last tonal sample. Let's get, I wonder if we can find something in folder. I'm gonna, I'm just choosing at random, folder 63. Whoa. Again, give a lot of delay, Oop. right there, and a lot of reverb. And I'm gonna make it a little bit quieter. And this we will arpeggiate. So if I hold shift and then I go to arp and sync 16th notes, I'm actually gonna do 30 second notes, octaves, I like to have it go really far, mode, up, now, and I'll add in the ninth. So we'll spread this out across four measures and we'll keep adding in the ninth. Cut these a little bit shorter. And this, I think that we might transpose down an octave. And we'll also give this an LFO, but we're going to send the pan for this to the LFO. And we'll set that LFO to be synced. I think two half notes. So where we are now, we've got this fun little groove and I think that we'll close out here. Um, obviously this is something that you could develop more or I guess I could develop more as well. I will make sure to save, I'm gonna backspace. I will call it uh, a me gun titled. I don't have a name for it yet and it saved the song. So like I said earlier, I do go into this without any real major like uh, plan ahead of time. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And we'll end with me playing just some of this little groove that we've made together in this moment that we shared. Uh, thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.